In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite double Mabel style of defensive beaters, and the play is going to be post-wheel drag. This play is found in the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook, and it's going to be in the tight slots halfback week formation. If you want to get my entire Bengals offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. I'll teach you how to run everything that is effective out of this playbook, as well as the tight slots formation as a whole. If you want to get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, you can do so by clicking the link down in the description below. It's only $10, and I guarantee you it's going to make you a better Madden player. Now, when we call this play, normally when we run tight slots, one of the things that we want to make sure that we're doing is we're running this with our uh, tight or, or I'm sorry, our slot receiver to the left hand side of the screen. For this specific play, we're actually going to want to run this with our with the ball on the right hash mark. Now, we have other setups in this offense that we can obviously run uh, with our tight or with our running back to the wide side of the field. But in this example, this is going to be really helpful because it's going to help us to be able to clear out zones. Now, as I said, one of the most difficult defenses to beat in Madden is this double Mabel coverage. It's really probably one of the better ways that people can defend uh, tight style of formations. And the reason why it does such a good job against tight style formations is it forces you to throw the ball in the middle of the field. What we're going to be able to do with the setup here is we're going to streak our right side receiver. We're going to motion our running back to the outside here. And then we're going to put our running back on a little check down, a little in route coming back over the middle. Now, the first thing and the most important thing we want to show you is that the wheel route on the left side, a lot of times the curl flat defender will actually match that guy late in the play, and then you can check down to the tight end. I'll show you in this replay kind of what I'm talking about, and we'll also talk about some of the other routes here. So we have the stock wheel route in post wheel drag, and you'll see here this curl flat defender. See how he's starting to match up field? At this point, I can throw this tight end, and normally you'll be able to throw it a little bit earlier than I actually got the ball out of my hands to be able to get upfield for an easy 10-yard completion. Another thing you can do to kind of help with the timing of this is put that tight end on an in route. The other thing that you're going to see here is this running back against a double Mabel coverage is going to basically be open kind of right in this area. So as you can see here, we have two underneath routes in the middle of the field, and then we also have this post route that, as you'll see here in a second, is going to get over the top of a 30-yard cloud. This is why this is one of the best ways to be able to attack kind of any kind of uh, double Mabel style zone defense that people are going to utilize because, number one, most of the plays in tight slots are designed to go to the left side of the screen. And number two, it's going to create kind of a little bit of a different look, and we're actually going to get those curl flats to match upfield. But as you can see, if we wait on this post route, especially if we have set feet lead, we can easily fit this in over the top. For a big play, the 30-yard cloud will never, ever, ever defend it. Now, if you think about some of the other plays in tight slots, one of the things that's pretty popular for people to do is essentially put a vertical hook here on the left-hand side, which is going to then leave their user in an isolation in the middle of the field, and he is going to have to take this, um, this deep post route. So because the user has to take the deep post route, the vertical hook defender has to take the tight end, this is where the running back is going to be very valuable to you on your offense here because, as you'll see, late in the play, he's going to get open right there. We can easily check down and get some easy yardage against the defense. Now, this is also really good against any kind of other zones that you might be facing, such as cover four drop or cover three, and is the main reason why we like to suggest to go ahead and call this with your running back to the wide side of the field, because it means that this right side receiver is going to run his clear out route on the numbers, which is going to allow him to clear out zones like cover four quarters and uh, cover three outside third zones. So as you can see there, if it's cover four or if it's cover three for that matter, you're going to be able to have a pretty high degree of consistency with this. And all you're going to have to do here, you can always actually to uh, look to hit your seam streak right up the middle. But a lot of times you're just going to basically throw this uh, post route. One little pro tip on throwing the post route so that it can actually be completed with a high degree of consistency against outside thirds and outside quarters. You want to be free forming uh, this post route basically down into the outside so that we're going to be throwing it away from the defender. So you see right here, free form down into the outside. Obviously, I would really recommend a possession catch that against that coverage because in this year's game, you do have to worry about knockout defenders. Now, the next thing that we want to be going over here is kind of what this might look like in terms of man to man and how this play is actually a really good man beater as well. So this play is not only a good zone beater, but it's also a good man beater, because if you look here on the right side, the running back is basically unbumpable against most defensive sets. And so he's going to be a, a great man beating route. That post route over the middle of the field is one of the best man beating routes in the game. 
Now, a little bit of a piece of advice that I would recommend, and I would do this myself if I was running this play online, if you see that that outside player kind of goes outside like that, that's kind of a cue that it might be man-to-man. Instead of putting your running back on a out uh, on an in route, go ahead and put him on a drag. And the reason why is just because that's going to do a better job at getting separation against man coverage. If they happen to uh, if they happen to go use that post route, you might need that running back route as a check down. One of the other routes that should be able to be hit against most people is this tight end uh, this tight end drag. So you'll see right here, this tight end drag is super good, and the rat catch animations are so good this year at being able to beat man coverage. The play post roll drag is one of the most effective plays in Madden this year because of its ability to be able to consistently get over the top of 30-yard clouds, be able to space the field horizontally and vertically, and the tight slots halfback week offense as a whole is one of the best offenses in the game. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and if you want to get my entire Bengals offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon by clicking the link down below.